Welcome to Guns for Hire's Modern Warfare 3 Search and Destroy B Defense Tactical Video Series, also known as the Douchebag That Camps. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a couple of positions on Arcaden. I don't know if that's it's Arcaden, Das Arcaden. I don't know. It's German, I think, I believe. So I'll just say Arcaden. Anyway, take a look, learn something, use it as a base, and build on it. All right, let's get started. This is Arcaden B defense, and I'm gonna switch it up um, twice. So I'm gonna show you two positions. The first position here is actually my alternate, but I'm gonna show you it anyway. Claymore on the escalator in case they're coming up. You want to be able to injure them, and if you actually have to leave at any point, it's good to have that claymore down as a sentry guard. So what you're doing here is you're using the pillar and the benches to actually cover you up from anyone down at the far end. Typically everyone looks for you down and that's exactly where, where it becomes effective. But typically, you know, everyone looks for you standing up uh, behind the, the open booth there and a good sniper from that side. Like right, right on that thing there, you can see on right when I'm looking at the Verschilsnitzel, that thing there. People usually stand there and so it's, you know, although it's a, an effective spot, people will get used to it, they'll start looking at it. Whereas this spot here actually covers you up perfectly. The bench covers you up, you've got a direct sight line on the B, you've got the claymore there that will injure and or at least alarm you if they're coming up through there if you have to backtrack and say head to the back there in order to get the kill. And I think uh, this is about to end in two shakes of a lamb still there, good. I know it's boring and everything like that because I only had the one kill, but that's the whole point. It's to show you that the position works, you know, once, and I go into another game, show you it differently. But I'll pr I promise you that I use those two positions all the time. Now, the second position we're going to be taking is a little bit uh, to the back. You've probably seen this a lot, but how you do it is important. Now, hopefully, I've got this. As you're coming in through here, and hopefully I show it on this one, because I, I always do now, and if I don't, I'll tell you. As I'm running up here, I'm going to throw a stun or a concussion right over top of the... There, there, perfect. Because if people are rushing through that escalator, you want to stun them. Claymore right here, again as an alarm, sometimes as a killing, and then back yourself into this little cubby hole. It provides you with amazing protection, just like that guy. Very, very hard for them to see. If they're rushing through there, they're not going to see you till it's the last second. And of course, when you're in this position... You can concentrate on there, and this is, see the angle I've got here? I'm trying to keep it in between. I'm actually, the reason why I'm facing the board is because I'm watching both the right side and the actual bomb. So if any movement, if anyone breaks that sort of line of sight that I have on both sides, I'm going to know they're going to be. Then I have the claymore on the back protecting me and letting me know if someone's coming around the back there. And just a side note, I'm going to say right now, and thanks to uh, Meatwagon, Sitrep Pro is definitely the way to go and search and destroy definitely the way because you can hear the crap out of everyone it sounds like they got wooden dutch wooden shoes on and they're clunking around all over the place so we're gonna do this one more time um i think this is third round same game this is the same game so i'm just showing you that i do switch it up if even this is a mistake that i'm making right here though okay same thing we're gonna throw that flash but I return to the same spot. Normally, I would say don't do that. Once you make a kill from a certain position, that position then becomes compromised. And I think that's actually why I'm showing you this. Exactly right there. So these people become aware. They become, you know, like this guy's just got his sights up and he's slowly creeping out. And that was an error on my part. It was really dumb of me to do that. It's very important that you move after you make a kill from one of these positions because they're static. Because you're not dynamic. You're not rushing around and doing all sorts of stuff. So when you do that, and by the way, this is a different game. So it's like, well, you're doing it again. We switched on to a new game here. This is a different lobby. Same sort of purpose, though. Like right there, they're not, they don't see you a lot. Even the, with the, the Claymore, it kind of gives them a, you know, they can either see it. If they've got sit rep, they're going to see it through the wall. They're going to know that you're actually, I guess, there for lack of a better word. But it still does not help them. Even if they know you're there, it puts them at a disadvantage. You can also look through that window. See the window that's right to my left? just left of my uh, reticle there, you can actually look right through that glass and kill people through there before they can even spot you. It's not more of a head glitch, it's more of a toll booth willy glitch, because I have no idea why he's in there. So I mean, I think this is the end of the round here, and we maybe do one more round after this. So I'll show you. Remember, this is a different game, and I believe I returned to the same place in this one. 
This was an earlier game here. Again, not smart. You can do it in the other place there, although I, in almost any other search and destroy game, I would say once you make a kill, that position has then been compromised. You need to move because someone will look for you. I mean, if you make it and they watch the kill cam, they're going to like, all right, I'm going to anticipate that. You're either going to get stunned to crap or they're going to rush you before you even know what the hell's going on. The only reason why I didn't throw stuns there is because two of my teammates were there and they were chucking chucking bombs so there's no need for me to waste mine hold on to it now i do get lucky in this case here but as i said before and here's the the window thing this is a perfect there you go that's it's like a little surprise that i just got actually doing the commentary on it i was like okay well i wonder if i'm gonna actually show it but you got an amazing sight line right through that glass and i'm pretty sure that i use it in this case here so now you got to be patient because it's all about positioning and there you go even with that even though they know you there, like, look at that. Look at the advantage you have on that position through the glass. It's absolutely remarkable. It does work. Try it out. Switch it up uh, all you want. Uh, remember, use these strategies as a baseline and then build on them. Use the idea that I show you, the positioning, and then create your own. Or use mine until it doesn't work anymore. Peace.